Hey everybody, Silver so back here. Out here today because I decided I wanted to get a new steel target. So I found this one on Amazon, just looking around for some cheaper targets. Um, I got this one on a 20% discount because I hit it at the right time when I bought it on Amazon. But this is Dragon Targets. Said that they're made in the USA. Um, supposed to be AR500 steel. We'll check that out today. Uh, they look nice. They come with this cool sticker you can put on here. And there's a couple other stickers that they sent me. 12-inch um, gong. Half-inch thick. Bam. Half-inch thick. 12-inch circle. And they have other shapes and sizes of things. They got like a Yeti. They got uh, like a duck, a turkey, a, a wild boar. They got a whole bunch of different ones. They got some little poppers and stuff. So there's a bunch to choose from. So I really wanted to check it out. I wanted a half inch target at my 50 yard mark so I could zero things in. So we're gonna hit this with some 5.56 today and see how it holds up. And I got a various amount of different 5.56 in my thing. I got some hollow points. Uh, I got one green tip. So we'll see how it holds up against a green tip. Uh, and some full metal jackets, some steel rounds, uh, brass, uh, all kinds of different uh, 5.56 that I just had mixed in with my uh, ammo stash. So I just loaded up a bunch of magazines with a bunch of different kinds of 5.56 rounds and a couple of some 2.23s as well. Uh, so we'll just shoot this and have a blast and let's make it ring. All right, first up, there's just a bunch of stuff mixed in with this. Uh, I don't know if this has the 223s as well, but uh, let's see. like I said, I got one green tip. <laughs> just throw in the mix there to see what it does. Um, you know, 50 yards is really too close to be shooting rifle rounds at. But hey, we'll give it a shot and see just how horrible it really is. <laughs> Alrighty. Safety off. Wait a minute here. What's going on? Oh. Would help if I, you know, loaded the gun. <laughs> Uh, I haven't made a video in so long. Hey, it rings nice. There you have it. That's the first few shots with the 5.56. Five, uh, eh, there's a couple little pits in there. I mean, nothing too stressful I would say not for a half inch thick plate but yeah that's got a couple little pits in it All right, let's hit it with this green tip and see what she does. Uh, <laughs> kind of a little leery, but we'll see. I mean, it's leaving tiny little pits with the regular 5.56. Five, so let's see what happens with one green tip. All right, we hit that solid. Let's go see what we did. All right, there it is. That was the green tip. And there is a pretty good divot taken out of it. Don't know if you can see that, but that's the green tip right there. So, yeah, I would say she holds up good. I mean, it's not that big of a divot, not as much as I've seen in like 3 8 or whatever at 50 yards. So <laughs> I'd have to say, you know, fare thee well so far, but uh, yeah, it's still, I mean, any target's going to do that, I guess. But not bad. I'm going to continue shooting, and we'll take a look at it after about another 100 rounds and see what she looks like. All 
All right, so we've hit it with a mess of rounds. We've gotten another little divot in there. Quite a few more little divots in there that are just regular 5.56 five, and some 2.23. Two, I mean, they're not terrible. I can't say that they're they're not very deep. I mean, they're a little deeper than I would like to see, but I mean, I am shooting this at 50 yards and it should be at 100 or more. Uh, so <laughs> overall, I'm gonna give it, you know, at least a B plus to an A for standing up to what I put it through at 50 yards. So um, yeah, definitely not bad, not terrible at all. <laughs> well, all right, there you have it. That's my uh, Dragon Targets AR500 steel target, 12 inch gong, half inch thickness. Torture test, I guess. <laughs> just really just shooting it, having some fun uh, at 50 yards with some 5.56. Five, yeah, it's tearing it up a little bit, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected at 50 yards, especially with uh, rifle rounds, so. Would I buy more? I'm definitely going to buy some more Dragon Steel targets because they work, uh, made in America, and they're pretty cost effective. I mean, they're they're pretty affordable. Um, you know, I've looked at a lot of other steel target manufacturers out there, and man, can they really hit you on the price? <laughs> so check them out. They do have a regular website, Dragon Targets. Uh, I just found them on Amazon then started digging around, you know, Google search Dragon Targets on the web and came up with uh, a bunch of different places that sell them plus their own manufacturer's website. So, and they're still affordable everywhere you go. Uh, I gotta say, definitely enjoyed shooting it. I'm gonna set this one, I'll probably keep this one here at 50 yards. Won't hit it much with rifles, just, you know, just for zeroing purposes. And then I'll just use it with my, uh, like, pistol caliber carbines and, you know, handguns and things of that nature. But um, I'm gonna get a few more. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that little guy right over there. That's 100 yards. I'm gonna set up a 200 yard one down there. Great to be up here in the mountains, loving life. And uh, hey, <laughs> Look at that view. How could you not love it? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have fun.